Look at that slime. Is this a no? Oh man. Okay. It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you. Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom. Sunshine whenever you smile. So hello there, everyone, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. It was very intense, and uh, yeah, now we're back. Uh, I did a little bit of work off camera, as you guys may notice. Yeah, th there's no forest here, and that's pushed back some. So. All I did really was just take the axe and chop up a lot of the forest here. And that, that's pretty much it, just to, you know, give us more room to build. <laughs> and uh, now we're stacked on wood. But anyways, guys, for today's episode, we are going to be building an iron farm, actually. And so I've got just, I've just got blocks in there, because that's so far all I need. But we're also going to need a compass, because we're going to go ahead and build this in the spawn chunks. And if you don't know what that is, wherever we spawn is always loaded like the first so many chunks so that no matter what this farm is 100% loaded all the time and it never stops running because iron is by far like the most important thing we can farm so we're gonna go ahead oh, go over to this iron farm or this place we're gonna build an iron farm and try and figure out where it is it's probably gonna be where we started the series like a month ago oh man poor enderman <laughs> that guy's not having fun Oh, and we got a skeleton. Watch, wait. I don't think I have the sniper duel achievement. Let's see. I want to try and get this real fast. All right, so we're going to go ahead and back up all the way back here. And bomb. Oh. Serious? No, that's not the achievement. All right, I, I thought that was like over 50 blocks, but yeah, I guess not. Either way, this is... Oh, yeah. Here's the ravine. I'm tempted to fly down there because we have no lights in there, right? Yeah. Just making sure we head it on before we jump down. Should we? Oh, man. Uh-uh. Oh, that was fun. Either way, this around here is the spawn chunks. We spawn, like, right over here. So this is where we'll be building. Even though this right here is our very first little house we had in this world it's like right under here yep this is a little house let's see do we have anything left of importance we were here about a month ago Ooh, some coal wow that's very great haha <laughs> stone tools and i hear a spider it's probably on the surface either way now we're stacked so we don't need this this little shack anymore we built ourselves a nice house and we got spiders here it's so old and it's been here for so long can't be having that. All right, either way, let's see. Where's the spawn? It says this way. Wait, now it says... I think it's, like, right here. Yeah, because you see how it keeps going in a circle? So we look this way. In the bottom right. It says go forward. We go forward, and it turns back this way. It says go forward. Yeah. So this right here, I believe, is, like, where we spawn is in one of these blocks. So, we can go ahead and build that farm. Just, uh, we can build it on this cliff. That should still be in the spawn chunks. I mean, it's a couple chunks that's loaded. It's not just the one. So, this cliff should be loaded. So, yeah, I don't want to take down an old house because I think it's kind of funny. And we can also use it as, like, a temporary little shack right now. In order to sleep while we're out here, even though we're not too far away. I believe this is, shall be where the iron from goes it's not super big and i'm sure they're going to change it so it's probably going to stop working eventually because they've been messing around with villages so much it's so annoying but until they do we'll just we'll let it afk all the time once we get it built of course and then yeah we'll go from there because iron is uh we have oh, in the shulker box is like 20 iron that's that's all we have left is like 20 so i could go mining for some or we could build an iron farm, and I think an iron farm would be more important. Especially since we have the stuff to do it. Aw, oh, man, I hate these big trees. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and clear out this whole area here. So we have a nice area to build our farm. And I'll be back once uh, once this area is all nice and tidy up. Hey, remember everyone, only you can prevent forest fires. And only you can also start them, because you're too lazy. Yep, we're just... <laughs> We're burning down a bit, and this is extremely laggy. Please burn. 
All right, guys, and so there is our area cleared out nice and flat, and this is an approximate middle. I realize it's not really the middle middle, but, you know, here, we'll move it. Eh, whatever, what are you going to do? But either way, I'm, I am watching tutorial off of this, so if I do mess up, that is why. It's, it's apparently three blocks. You make them like a three by three area like this. We're going to grab some of this dirt back. Oh, no, don't look at that. And this goes down like two blocks, I believe. Like that. And then we go ahead and place our double chest here. Along with our nice little hopper boy, because that's apparently where we're supposed to collect and stuff. And then a stone slab like that, and I think that's the first little part. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna surround this in a nice little, uh, or, you know, just a little ring of blocks. And then we're going to come over here and grab some of our glass, as a matter of fact. And what we can do, yep, we can surround it with glass so we can just see through. And I am aware that looks kind of ugly, but it's just meant to be functional for now. And I hear, what do I hear? I hear something. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, this is going to be the center of, like, the farm. And we're supposed to go nine blocks in each direction. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, because it's meant to be a um, giant square, 19 blocks long. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, oh, and it's gonna overlap a bit. One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number nine. And so I guess we're just going to box this up and fill this in. Well. Alright, so now we're going to fly up nice and high. And just take a look at this. Oh yeah, that looks even. And honestly, that doesn't look horrible here. I think it looks pretty nice. Ugh. Not that there's a whole bunch of other builds around here that were messed with it, but... Alright, now we're just going to go ahead. Ooh, a brown sheep. Those are pretty rare. I'm just kidding. We're gonna go ahead and fill this all in, and I'll check back with you guys once that's done. So real quick, we were just building the thing, and yes, this is not that great of trades. But he's invisible. He got hit by like a splash potion from a witch or something like that. And the guy's literally an invisible wandering trader. I just... Yep, he's there. He's just invisible. <laughs> that that looks funny. Alright. That's all. We're, we're still working on this. I just thought that was kind of funny. Alright, so the next step to building this is going to be surrounding the whole place in either some kind of fence or some kind of uh, wall, like cobblestone walls. I'm actually going to do this out of fences because this is already cobblestone and cobble on cobble would look even uglier. And not just that, we just mined out that whole area back at base and so I've got so much of this dark oak wood so I might as well put it to use. And that's what we're doing using just fences this whole way around. Then not just that, then we get to see into the farm a little bit which is also very cool. So, oh, I thought we'd have enough. We got more in here. So, let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to build a whole other platform on top of this. And there's going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4 block gap in between. And on the 5th block is where the uh, platform is going to be. And this platform is just going to be the same as that size as this one on the bottom. So, just follow this around. Of course, fill it all in. And then we'll go on to the next step. Alright, and so the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to let that go in there. And we're just going to place a nice piece of glass so this is all in line with each other. And next up, we're going to have to figure out which side we want to be the front of the farm. And it's either this side or this side. I'm going to say this side. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with this side and so we're going to get a little bit more dirt and make it bigger. But this side will be the front of the farm because our house is... Right? Is our house through these trees? Or is it to the left? Uh, is our house not even this way? Oh, it's not. Wait, what's our... One second, where's our house gone? Is it this way? Oh, it is this way. Oh, I got confused there with directions. Alright, that's the house. So actually, we're gonna make this the front. There you go, that makes more sense. <laughs> That's why it's bigger. Alright, so this right here is going to be the front of the farm. Alright, and since we decided that, that right there is going to be the front 
that there, that right there is going to be the front of the farm. Right, right. All we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to mine out one of these blocks. Put that block there. And then we're going to come up to this edge here. One sec, let me look. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here and go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three for this little area. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to come down here and grab some signs. We're going to want six of these signs. Actually, let's make a staircase to get up here. All right, so we're going to take these signs and we're actually going to place them right there, right there, right there. Then another three signs, one, two, and a three. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to line this whole area with blocks, just like this, leaving one space or whatever, one gap on either side, like, like that. I don't know if you get it, but that's what we're going to do. And these are just going to be temporary blocks. You know, these aren't going to stay. This is just going to be for when we put in the water. And that is why I'm using things such as dark oak planks. And you know what? We can even craft up some normal planks, because why not? We got a whole bunch of wood anyways. And plus, it's, it's just temporary. We're going to take them down. Then we can go use them for something else. We can use them to build the rest. So, we're going to go ahead and finish placing all of these in here. Huh? Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is all these blocks right next to the temporary blocks. We're actually going to go ahead and mine these out as we don't need these anymore. You can keep them if you feel like it. But I'm just going to mine it out so it looks all nice. Because, I mean, it, it's already cobblestone. It can't look too bad or too nice. Oh, we need that one. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place these up here, up on the wood. Because that's where they're going to need to go. So, same thing as before, just one block up, pretty much. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to surround this whole entire platform, once again, with fences or walls. They're, they're the exact same kind of entity. They do exactly the same thing. They just have visual differences. So, I'm going to go ahead and surround this whole thing with this. Make sure there's one right here so that they can't fall off or anything stupid like that. And yeah, we we'll have to go get more fences, but you get it. We're going all the way around this top layer. And this is almost looking like a funny looking house, huh? And so, also, we got to make sure we place two signs on here just like that. Oh, a little detail I forgot, but place two signs right there. So, I hope seeing all these signs in my inventory, it's a sign of what's about to come. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. I, I'm hilarious. I, I get it. I'll be here all week just for, for everyone. All right. Now, actually, what we're going to do is that's the front of the farm. So, I'm going to go ahead, place a sign here, another sign on top of that, and yet another sign on top of that. And then, oh, wait, let's make sure that's even so we don't throw fits. Another sign on top of it. And then, guess what? One, two, three more signs in every direction from either side, I do believe. Yes, three in every direction from this main sign right here. Two, three. That's another three signs. And another three right here. A one, a two, and a three. Whoever knew signs would be so powerful? Hmm. Alright, there's three. And now we gotta add some more somewhere. And then don't worry, we're not done with sign placement quite yet. We're gonna have to do one here, one here, and then another one there. I know it's weird, but... This first little one, 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 and then on this last one, just one. So it makes kind of a shape like that. I don't know how to explain it. But again, you see this is the first sign kind of going the way. So one, two, and then just one for of that one. Same thing over here. One, a two, and one more off of that. And there is our sign mess. And I think that's it. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our blocks and we're gonna find the front of the farm, which is obviously that way. And we're gonna have to do ah, oh, this is weird. A little something like this. And I can place a button on that, right? Yeah, I can place a whole block. Alright, I think we did that right. Two blocks going that way, it doesn't matter which way you pick these lava, either way it's going to flow. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place one block right here in the middle going up. We're going to go ahead and destroy our little tower because we don't want that anymore. And we're going to have to build a kind of a trench type thing going, I th he said 21 blocks. And it has to be two blocks down, so one, two. So 21 blocks is the whole farm plus one, pretty much. 
So that's the whole farm. That's the extra one. Because this is where all of our villages are going to be going. So that this farm works. So I'm just going to run along here. This is super satisfying. I love doing this. Alright, and there we go. That's that one. And now we just enclose this. Somewhat. Alright, so all I did was place some fences along here. And now I'm going to run back to the place. I'm going to go ahead and place a bunch of beds in here. Alright, so all we're going to do now is we're going to place nine beds in here from this time. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Let me grab some more. Four, and then five, six. I think this is nine. Seven, wait. Is that nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, one more bed. And nine beds, just like that. Oh, great. And now all we got to do is get a whole bunch of villagers into these beds. And how are we going to do that? I don't know how we're going to do that. That's, um, that's our next problem. We got to get nine villagers from that village. Village breeder all the way over to here. And by the way, we are going to need a bell that's going to go on top of that. So I'm going to go to that place where I found the end portal, probably. And I'm probably going to steal their bell and then get my horse back. So I'm going to go do that real fast, and I'll be back. All right, so here we are where we spent all of last episode, or at least down there in the portal in those depths. And our horse, there he is. Our horsey, which we do need names for all these guys. And he's sitting right by a creeper. But this actually works out pretty perfectly because I can get my horse back. I know we got a little little ride to get home. But I'll get you back. And I get to steal their bell. Thank you very much. Because I need that bell for the thing back at home. Alright, so we're going to be on our way back. Alright, and so we made it back. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put the bell on top of there. And now we got the tricky part. We're just going to be getting nine villagers into here. Now, I don't know if we should just, like, run some kind of boat line here, because we are next to water. If this water goes close enough, let me see. Because our house is all the way over there. Maybe we can make some... Maybe we can make something with the tracks, but then again, we'd probably have to rip up... Oh, man, don't fall down the hole. We'd probably have to rip up that uh, one thing that we built. I'm blanking now. Alright, so out of curiosity... What we're going to do is we're going to just uh, break this out. Oh, nice. And we're going to place a boat here. Nice. And, okay, that's not nice. Serious? Man, that mine's way too fast. We're going to try and throw a baby villager down here and just see how hard it would be to get them over to there. So this guy might die, but, oh, man. If I can even get up here. But it's all right, little guy. And I'm, oh, we got two little guys. I'm just going to push them through the holes. So I did have the, wait, one, two, three. All right, we can push one. Uh, I didn't, in fact, lose one earlier before. I came over here and a zombie, like, jumped up here. And started slaying them, so I managed to save them all but one. See, like, he would have walked over that. And so we're going to let him grow up to be an adult so he can breed with them, but. All right, so nice. He's instantly in there. Now we're going to get in here. Hopefully we don't hurt him. You all right back there? Why can't we fly? Can't we move? Is it because of this? I think it's because of this. No, but then that, that would release that water. One second, buddy. Let me figure out how we get you out of here. Break that. No, no, don't go in that hole. Alright, well. Come, can we get you through here? Oh, we can't. No, no. Oh, buddy. Don't do that game with me. Right. We, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Stop playing. You gotta stop playing around with me like that. No. You gotta stop. I keep thinking you're gonna die. So if we back this up, which it won't let us. Alright, there we go. 
And then we're gonna block that up so you don't die in there. Can we take this and put it up here to get up? No, we can't. All right, so that's the easy way to get up. Let's just, let's just try and take them. We're actually gonna barricade this up to make sure nothing gets out. In case they, well, actually they shouldn't pop any through, but just in case. Oh my, this is a mess, an absolute mess. All right, let's just try and cart one over there. We do have a lot of carrots though, so. I don't know if we just want to make one. Yeah, it's a slow journey, but uh, it'll get us there. All right, and so we finally made it here with this villager. And let me just say, this little guy right here was a trooper, all right? We got attacked by, like, zombies and drones and everything a bunch of times. So, uh, yeah, that's a little tip to light up this area. But either way, this, it did take a while, as you can tell, it's nighttime. But it wasn't too bad. And so, yeah, I'm probably going to move a couple over here and just do that. But uh, yeah, that's something I'm most likely going to do off camera because it was, it's no fun to watch. So yeah, I'm going to move a whole bunch of guys over here off camera and I'll be back in a while, a long while once I do that. And here, if we open this, he should just run. Go to bed. There he goes. Let's also make sure nothing can spawn in here because that would be bad. Look at that slime. Is this a, No! Oh, man. Okay. Let's not do that. You guys hear what I mean? 